So hello friends, once again we are here with another unboxing video and from Paris. So this is a new watch by uh, Hamilton, at least for me, uh, not exactly the new watch of Hamilton. You know Hamilton is an American watchmaker and uh, uh, but the watches are Swiss made. So let's open it quickly. So here we open it and as any of this is watch box will open up. So here comes the box. And the box has got wooden finish. So let's keep it aside and see what all is there inside. So one, we have a international warranty card. So this watch is Hamilton Khaki Field Murph. So kind of uh, detailed or advertising, uh, you know, flyers there. Then we have international warranty card, which gives the conditions, the terms and conditions of the warranty. So let's keep everything aside and go to the watch. So once we open it, here is our watch. So this is the box, on the top there is Hamilton written and then here nothing is there. So let me just open it. So now let's have a look. A uh, closer look at the watch. So see this is how it looks like from close quarters. So it has a unique uh, shape of uh, hands, especially the R hand and this is also called the interstellar watch. So, because it was uh, worn by Murphy Cooper in the movie Interstellar. So, Interstellar actually uses a 42mm dial watch. This is a 38mm dial uh, because, uh, you know, watch lovers, they demanded a relatively smaller dial, which is, uh, you know, more reasonable uh, on the wrist. So, Hamilton heard it and uh, listened to it and gave up this beautiful version in 38 mm which looks really nice on the wrist actually so it has beige color uh, markers and beige color hands also so it's a three hand uh, watch with the h10 movement h10 is an improvised eta movement made exclusively for hamilton which has up to 80 r Bar reserve, which is I can say one of the best at this price range or even much higher price ranges the, this is not easy to find a in an automatic watch ATR power reserve so it is part of the khaki field uh, lineup it is called khaki field MURF 38mm and uh, it has a thickness of 11.1mm dial color is black rather jet black and the case material is stainless steel crystal is sapphire the lug to lug, lug width is 20 mm and it has of course entire reflective coating on both the sides it has an open case back and it has a nevacron spring so nevacron spring basically what it does is it makes it anti-magnetic 
so ideally a field watch kind of thing should be like that so it's a field come uh, pilot watch you can say not exactly pilot but uh, yes more of field uh, because of very simple design and the ATR power reserve possibly is achieved by getting rid of other complications so it does not have a day or date window so it uh, possibly saves a lot on the power on that front so it has a okay so the Hamilton logo Then this is the case back, which shows us a beautiful movement of Hamilton, which is like provided by ETA, possibly in house now. So it is water resistant up to 10 bar, and uh, sapphire crystals is made. You can see the movement functioning. And then it is a black leather wristband with white stitching or rather beige stitching. So the beige stitching and the beige uh, arm markers are going perfectly in sync. Pretty simple watch, so polished and brushed. So the surrounding of the dial or the bezel type thing is, uh, although it is non-rotating, non-moving, so this is polished but otherwise the case is brushed still the portion which is uh, you know, polished leaves a lot of marks so uh, you need to be cautious about the cleanliness <laughs> possibly right the this brand has got a buckle which has have a ten logo in a unique manner. The design is different. So the crown is uh, big but not oversized like in some other watches it is like perfectly in sync with the size of the case with the hamilton logo and uh, the 42 mm of this watch that is the hamilton khaki murph uh, the seconds hand does have a morse code you know morse code was used during the world wars to send messages from one country to the other country, especially for spying and a unique way of uh, clicks to show messages. So like in the interstellar movie itself, uh, the Murphy uh, Cooper uh, you know, discovers the watch, the second hand is giving a message through Morse code and she writes it down. So that's how there's a morse code uh, connection also to this watch but in this one because probably the uh, dial is 38 mm so they've not given it on the uh, hands the on the second hand so this is uh, overall a beautiful watch and let's see how does it look like on the wrist so this is how it wears on the wrist So I have personally only one complaint that the strap length is a bit short. So possibly uh, if you have larger wrist like minus seven and a quarter, you might have to change it. Otherwise like it is a perfect fit. So not even a single you know, centimeter extra, which is okay. So here is how it looks like. Let's check out the loom. The loom department is not very strong, but 
still okay so here it is it seems like uh, good enough uh, okay can't complain not bad so the loom is only on the uh, hours and minute hand not on the second hand and the hour markers all right just fair enough so here we are with the hamilton khaki murf auto 38 mm or the interstellar watch so i hope you like the video if you like it uh, Please subscribe to my channel so that I can post more videos like this and uh, like my videos. Thank you. Ciao. Merci.